versus Talia. This is Asus Spin 714, a versatile two-in-one Chromebook with the power for professional work, ease of use for productivity, and long-lasting enough to take with you for the whole day. Asus Chromebook naming kind of goes like so. So you have the 314, 514, and now 714. The 14 part tells us the screen size, 14 inches, and the number before that, the 3, the 5, the 7, tells us how powerful it is, with the higher being better. So this has seven amounts of power. Very nice. Jokes aside, the power is on par with the 713, which has been a fan favorite of many, but now with a slightly different screen, updated specs, and a pen. The 16x10 screen is the biggest shift for this Chromebook, and I like it. Because now in Asus Chromebook range, you can choose from 16x9, the traditional widescreen, 3x2 for a much squarer, almost tablet-like display, and now 16x10 for something in between. I like 3x2, that used to be my favorite aspect of the show, but I know that big jump in height is a little bit daunting for some people, so this feels like the best of both worlds. You're my new favorite aspect ratio. The resolution is full HD with that extra inch of height and teeny tiny bezels around the outside to make the most of its 14 inches. The display is an LED backlit touchscreen with an antimicrobial glass coating to reduce stains and odor causing bacteria from your grubby little hands. And it's IPS, which means great viewing angles with 340 nits of brightness and 100% coverage of sRGB. It's really vivid and plenty bright. So it's great if you're working under harsh office lighting, Kind of like, well, kind of like these studio lights. Also, if you're wondering why it's turned around, it's because I decided to perform a factory reset on it right before I filmed this video. So it's just, there's not much to look at right now. I promise I will get some really nice shots of the display after I'm done, but for now you can just, you, you can look at the back of it. <laughs> Let's talk about the design. The chassis is metal in a blue or grey colour, weighing in at 1.4 kilos, so thin and light. The edges of the laptop and around the hinge feel very refined and sharp. I like this design. And it has a long indentation at the front so you can easily open it. I hope that's not going to stop the reset. That's satisfying. There's a backlit keyboard and a glass coated trackpad and a fingerprint sensor off to the side for quick and easy logins. Just underneath that, there's the included USI stylus that slots in nicely to the front. This is great for taking notes, creative work, and has good sensitivity and precision, so no complaints from me here. And it charges in 15 minutes to give you four hours of use. And although the 714 may look tiny, it is also mighty with an up to 12th gen Intel Core i7 processor and Iris XE graphics, so you can even do some light gaming. There's up to 16 gigabytes of low power DDR4 memory and 512 gigabytes of NVMe SSD. This is really nice because a lot of Chromebooks and Chrome devices put the bulk of their storage in cheaper eMMC storage rather than the much faster and more dependable SSD storage. So this is great, I like that inclusion. And with this being a convertible device, there's four different display modes, so you can use the Chromebook any way you want. As a regular notebook, as a tablet to relax on the sofa with after a hard day, do some browsing, play some games in its display mode, so it can act as like a mini TV, great for conference calls or watching videos, or in the tent mode, which I'll be honest, when I first saw it, filled me with anxiety, <laughs> but it is essentially like the display mode, just with less surface area needed. So this is great if you're cooking in the kitchen, don't have a lot of room, and want minimal contact with messy areas. And it also has a really sturdy screen in this position, so if you're at work and need to do some annotating, this is ideal because the screen won't jiggle around as much. Let's see the difference. For sound, the Chromebook has been kitted out with upwards facing speakers, which is always a bonus, and you can find that here by the keyboard. There's DTS audio with a smart amplifier for louder and deeper sound with less distortion. Just how loud it gets compared to other laptops is actually one of its key features by some really randomly large percentage that I'm gonna throw up on the screen. This is a really nice inclusion because I use my headphones when I'm working, not, not necessarily for other people, but just because the sound on laptops are never loud enough for me. So I like having the option of just blasting it through my laptop and really annoying everyone, sorry. <laughs> Shouldn't admit that. And it's also military grade durable, so you can rely on its sturdiness. It may be convertible, but it's not delicate. Drop test! No, nope, I can't do it, I got scared. Uh, but it is good for drops up to 1.2 meters. You can take Ace's word for it, not mine. For connectivity, we have Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2. And in terms of ports, we have a full-size HDMI, two USB Thunderbolt 4 type Cs for fast data transfers or connecting to a second display. And it uses a 56 watt hour battery. And the battery life is great. It's up to 10 hours, so you can easily, easily last the whole day. I like a 16 by 10 Chromebook, I really do. It makes general productivity more enjoyable while also still slipping itself into any work environment 
environment like a traditional laptop. You get the benefits of the easy to use Chrome OS, regular updates from Google with the high powered processor and super fast SSD storage. And the upwards facing speakers are a big plus. I'll put all up to date pricing in the description down below, but let me know what you think of the Spin 714. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys. What do you mean you couldn't finish the reset? Try again. No.